Hey guys, Fox Protocol Mining here coming at you with a video update. We're going to be talking today about the flux nodes, specifically Cumulus. I'm going to touch on Nimbus and Stratus as well, as, uh, and very briefly on Titan. Uh, back in April, I came out with a video about Cumulus nodes, how I had started a few up, and uh, I was running mine through VPS. Uh, my Cumulus nodes are currently offline. Uh, I took them down. Uh, I repurposed them to other projects uh, because my VPS cost was about $13 a month. So it just wasn't making sense to run them at a loss on the Cumulus node level. Uh, if you're self-hosting hardware, though, uh, we're still decent there. But I'm just going to go ahead and skip out on that, and I'm just going to talk yield. So we're just going to talk about um, how these nodes are producing yield-wise, how much flux they're actually going to put back in your wallet, assuming you know you're you're pocketing the cost, you know, to stack flux. So let's just assume that you know we're no longer talking about profitability. We're just talking about stacking flux. Which one of these options is going to make sense? So. Obviously, on each level, I mean, we have claim fees that we need to keep in mind here. So, you know, that might not be such a big deal to the Nimbus and Stratus nodes that are producing more tokens every, you know, every week, every month, compared to somebody who's running a Cumulus. So basically what I'm getting at here is if you run a single Cumulus node, you're going to generate about 18 to 20 of each parallel asset over the course of a year and you know uh, to claim that is going to cost you anywhere from two to eight flux uh, depending on the network and then to if you're going to swap it back to native flux it's going to cost you another two flux plus a transaction fee in the native chain so if you're on like the flux eth tokens it's eight flux to claim it Two flux to swap it plus about a right now with the way that gas is it's about a four dollar fee so it doesn't really make that that's pretty much a wash on cumulus but i'm getting a little sidetracked so percentage wise a cumulus node assuming that you're only claiming the pas once a year uh, the yield is actually about 25 percent so that's not that's not terrible. Could be could be a little bit lower depending on how the uh, the ETH PA works, but you also have to keep in mind that uh, we're going to see two new PAs this year, so those numbers are actually going to go up a little bit. But by my math, you're looking at about uh, almost 250 flux a year out of a cumulus node right now. Uh, and that's that's pretty pretty impressive uh, from just staking a thousand flux. Now, if we go to the Nimbus and Stratus levels, uh, I don't have the approximate amount of flux you'll earn on each level, but I do have the yield percentages. Uh, Nimbus is about a sixteen percent yield, and Stratus is about a thirteen percent yield. So that's kind of kind of odd. To me that there's such a uh, spread in the yield because that's literally if you ran 40 cumulus nodes theoretically at that yield you would make almost double the yield of running a single stratus granted the hardware requirement differences for that is probably pretty big but i'm just talking if hardware wasn't an issue if you were just trying to stack flux itself it would make more sense you would get more flux if you ran 40 cumulus nodes currently as opposed to running a single stratus so that's kind of interesting uh, it's actually kind of good in my opinion because you know the barrier of entry to a cumulus is much lower so it's kind of nice that the people who are you know that the cumulus yield is higher because you usually see this work in reverse where the lower collateral equals lower yields and that you need you know pay basically you get paid to have more collateral and that's not necessarily the case we're seeing here uh, the point i want to make about titan is what and if you're not familiar with titan 
Titan is a uh, new project, new token, not token. Uh, <laughs> it is a new uh, node structure. So it is a Stratus node that is opened up incrementally. So you're able to, let's say you have 300 flux, you're able to take your 300 and make it part of somebody else's hosted Stratus. And then you and a community of funds are act as the 40,000 collateral needed to launch the Stratus node. And then you all share rewards with the hang up that you're now locked in. So I believe the minimum lockup is three months, which means if you put your 300 flux in, you would get X amount of APY on your flux over a three month period. The only drawback to that is obviously that the person running the Titan is going to get paid a portion of your rewards for hosting the hardware. So your yields would be lower, but then you don't need 40,000 flux to run it. Now the biggest shot in the foot here that I can see is that if they're going to build Titan nodes on Stratus, are Stratus current Stratus node rewards going to decrease since you're going to have, you know, as more and more people build Titan nodes, if they're building them on a, from the pool of Stratus rewards, because they're Stratus nodes, then that's going to kind of, if I had 40,000 flux collateral running my own Stratus node, and all of a sudden, you know, my rewards continue to diminish and diminish and diminish and my yields get shot down, you know that's going to be that's going to be an issue that I can see potentially, but I don't I don't know if that's the case 100%. But I can only assume that it will be, uh, because I haven't heard or seen anything that would make me believe that wasn't the case. Uh, so overall, I mean the cumulus doesn't make sense for me right now because I'm deploying it on a VPS and I have to pay that bill. So I would have to liquidate my flux in order to pay that bill, and I would be operating at a loss. Uh, so, but if that's not the case for you, maybe you have hardware at home or you're just eating the cost of the VPS in order to stack your flux, you can do that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, but right now, Cumulus is the best play, in my opinion, because it's got the highest yield of the three nodes and the Stratus rewards are... The yields are in danger right now, I guess I would say, so I'm not sure I would lock up a Stratus node at this time until I get more information about how Titan is going to progress and what effect it's going to have on those rewards. Cumulus rewards, though, I don't see changing. Unless flux price moons anytime soon, I mean, the yields are pretty much going to go sideways at this point because now you're getting to the point where guys like me who are hosting on VPSs are no longer profitable so you know we're shutting down which is actually going to be better for yields because if vpss start shutting down cumulus nodes that means you're going to hit more frequently that means your yields are going to increase so all things to consider uh, you know when we're talking about the prices you know i made the first video back here in april so we were significantly higher in flux value uh, I made the video shortly after they did the node lateral happening, so there was a lot of factors in play, and I wanted to follow up on it just so that you guys could see um, how it's progressing. And I mean, yield-wise, it's still not terrible. Two hundred, you're getting one quarter of your initial investment back every year, and I don't, th I don't really think that's too terrible. I think that's that sounds pretty good to me. It's just. I, I don't want to eat my VPS cost, so, but how, how you deployed is a really big factor in how, you're, how you would do this, so to each their own. Uh, that's pretty much all I have on the, on the topic, guys. I mean, if you have comments, please hit me up in the comment section. If I got anything wrong here, please correct me. Um, I'm just operating on my own wits here. I don't really... I'm not a member of the Flux team, so I'm just operating off of my perspective and my opinions, and I hope you find them as of value. Uh, I'm going to hop out of here, guys.
Like I said, please uh, hit me up in the comments if you have any questions. Uh, you can also find me on the Miner Pool Discord, which is linked in some of my other videos, and I'll probably add it to the description for this one in case people want to talk to me one on one. Uh, so I appreciate your time, guys. Thank you very much, as always, for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you.